N channel or P channel. This is the problem. Think of a project where you have to use a transistor as a switch and after considering some reasons, you decided that you have to use a MOSFET rather than a BJT. Now, you have doubts about choosing between a P channel and an N channel MOSFET. Without knowing a bit about your project, I can recommend using N channel because N channels are more commonly used. So with a high chance, my recommended N channel will be a good option for you. Just kidding. In this video, we will see where we have to use an N channel and when we need to put a P channel. In this video, we'll discuss some practical, technical and non-technical differences between N channel and P channel MOSFETs and we will see why N channels are more commonly used. Stay tuned for more. MOSFETs fall into two major categories, N channels and P channels. Both of them can be used as a switch or an amplifier. I'll talk about using MOSFETs as a switch in this video and postpone the amplifier discussion to another video. Let's see some basic facts about MOSFETs and switches before moving further. This is a schematic symbol of an N-channel MOSFET and this one is used for P-channels. MOSFETs are three pin components and the pin names are gate, source and drain. Look, gate, source and drain. If we apply a proper voltage to the gate pin relative to the source pin, the device will turn on and let the current pass through the source and drain pins. Look at this tiny arrow here and here. If the arrow is inward, it's an N channel, and if the arrow is outward, it's a P channel. By the way, the arrow is always connected to the source pin, so you can differentiate the source pin and drain pin by looking at this arrow to see the arrow is connected to which one. For a mechanical switch like this relay to work properly, it must be placed between the load and the power supply, like this one or this one. No matter the switch is placed in the high side of the power supply or the low side of the power supply. But if you need to use a transistor as a switch, it's important to place it in correct side. Which side of the power supply is better to place a transistor, high side or low side? Answer of this question depends on the transistor type you are going to use, which leads us to know the difference between N channel and P channel. Difference number one, switching side. If your transistor is a P channel, then you have to place it on the positive side of the power supply. And if your transistor is an N channel, you have to switch the negative or ground side of the load. Even though both of the transistors can switch both sides, it's better to use each of them where they have more skills. In another word, if you are going to switch the high side of the power supply, it's better to use a P-channel MOSFET, and if you are supposed to switch the ground side of the load, it's better to use an N-channel. Look at these circuits here. When you need to switch the high side of the power supply, it's better to use this circuit with a P-channel MOSFET, and when you need to switch the ground side of the power supply, it's much better to use this circuit with an N-channel MOSFET. You may ask, why should I use the N-channel MOSFET on the ground side and P-channel MOSFET on the high side of the power supply? This is a very good question. The answer of this question will lead us to the next difference. Difference number two, ease of driving. Using an N channel on the ground side is easier than using it on the high side of the power supply. And similarly, using a P channel on the high side is much easier than using it on the ground side. You ask me why, I'll answer. Look at these setups here. No matter which type you are going to use, the source pin has to be always connected to the power supply, like here, 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 and here. And the drain pin has to be connected to the load all the time, okay? Like this one, here, here, and here. Now, to turn an N-channel MOSFET like this one on, we have to apply a voltage higher than a threshold voltage, say 4 volts, for example, to the gate relative to the source, and to turn it off, we have to apply a voltage lower than 4 volts to the gate relative to the source pin. By the way, I almost forgot to mention a really important point here. 
The thing is, each of these MOSFETs here actually has a parasitic diode built right into it. Now, in this video, uh, I've ignored these diodes to keep things simple and make the idea easier to understand. But if we do consider these diodes here, then these second and third setups, I mean when we put a P-channel MOSFET upside down on the ground side and also when we put an N-channel MOSFET upside down on the source voltage side, the MOSFET will always let the current flow through it and the load will just stay on and it will never turn off. So basically, these second and third setups you are seeing here are not really practical. I know the N channel is much more understandable for beginners, but the P channel is also easy. Don't look at the negative voltage, it just shows the relativity or polarity. When I say you have to apply minus 4 volts to the gate relative to the source, it also means that you can apply positive 4 volts to the source relative to the gate. In a very simplified term, you can apply a voltage that is 4 volts lower than the source voltage to the gate of a P channel MOSFET to turn it on. For instance, if the source voltage is 20 volts, you need to apply 16 volts or lower to turn the transistor on and 16 volts or higher to the gate relative to the source to turn it off. By the way, the exact value of the threshold voltage differs from a device to another and it is determined in the datasheet. To answer this question, why using an N channel on the ground side is easier than using it on the high side, we need to know another fact about N or P channel MOSFETs. In an N channel MOSFET, the direction of current flow is typically from drain to source, and in a P channel, the direction of current flow is typically from source to drain. If you place an N channel MOSFET on the ground side like this one, everything will be okay and by applying a simple voltage to the gate pin, you can expect the transistor to turn on or off because the source pin is hooked to ground and the voltage at the source pin is zero. So by applying a voltage higher than a threshold voltage, say 4 volts for example to the gate pin, you can expect the transistor to turn on and by applying the voltages uh, lower Lower than 4 volts, for example, to the gate pin, you can expect the transistor to turn off. But if you are going to use the N channel MOSFET on the high side like this one, look carefully, it is not upside down. It is in the correct direction. But uh, this is not usable because the source pin voltage is not known because the voltage at the source pin is a function of the rain current, load specifications, and the voltage at the VCC. So we can apply, uh, we can't apply a simple voltage to gate pin and expect the transistor to turn on because the source voltage is not now. So this is not the best way to use an N channel. But if you are going to switch high side, you can simply use a P channel like this because the source pin is hooked to VCC and the voltage at the source pin is now. So by applying a voltage lower than a threshold voltage to the gate pin, you can turn this transistor on. And by applying a voltage higher than a threshold voltage to the gate pin, you can turn this transistor off because the voltage at the source pin is now. And if the threshold voltage is minus 4 volts and the voltage at the VCC or VDD here at the source pin is 20 volts, you can expect uh, applying uh, voltages lower than 16 volts the gate pin uh, result in turning this transistor on and applying voltages higher than 16 volts the gate pin you can uh, expect the transistor to turn off but in the same way as using an N channel on the high side like this, you can't use a P channel on the ground side like this. Look carefully, the direction of MOSFET is correct, but you can't use this setup because the source voltage here is unknown as well as this setup because the source voltage here is a function of drain current, 
the voltage at VCC and load specifications. So you can't simply uh, apply a voltage to the gate and expect the transistor to turn on or off. Did you find that point interesting? If so, hitting the like button will definitely be appreciated. By the way, guess what? There are plenty of more interesting points like this coming up. So why not to subscribe now and activate the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out them, right? Do it now. Thank you. Anyway, let's get back to the main subject. There is a similar problem with P channels if you put them on the ground side. In that situation, the voltage needed at the gate terminal to turn the transistor on will be a function of drain current, load specifications, and VCC voltage. It's very easy to use N channel on the ground side and P channel on the high side. By the way, making driver circuit is much easier for an N channel compared to P channel. Voltages like 0 volts or 5 volts are readily available on many microcontrollers like AVR families. So, in most cases, you can drive an N channel MOSFET directly and easily using an MCU because we have 0 volts here, which is lower than 4 volts, and it will turn this transistor off. And also, we have 5 volts here, which is higher than 4 volts, and it will turn this transistor on. On the other hand, for a P channel transistor like this, you need voltages higher than 16 volts to turn it off and voltages lower than 16 volts to turn it on so both 0 volts and 5 volts here on a microcontroller will turn a p-channel transistor on and you will not be able to turn the p-channel transistor off directly using mcu gpio pins actually we need more complex driving circuitry for a p-channel okay Till now, we considered ease of driving as advantage of N channel that makes them more popular. But hold on, we are not done yet. Difference number three, low on resistance. When a MOSFET is off, no matter it is an N channel or P channel, the resistance between its drain source is almost infinite. I wrote it down here, RDS off is equal to infinite and when the MOSFET is on, the drain source resistance drops to almost zero, but not exactly zero. Actually, it becomes very tiny. It is called the drain source on resistance. It differs from a device to another. You can find the exact on resistance for each device on its datasheet. For example, on resistance of this IRF630 N channel MOSFET is about 0 0.29 ohms. Usually N channel MOSFETs have lower on resistance compared to the same sized, same level P channel MOSFETs. The lower the on resistance, the lower the voltage drop on the transistor, and the lower the voltage drop, the better. This is another reason why N channels are more popular. In addition, lower on resistance results in less power loss and higher efficiency, which is critical in power electronics. Difference number four, performance in high current. N channel MOSFETs are better suited for high current applications because of their lower on resistance and higher current carrying capability. This makes them the preferred choice for applications such as power supplies, motor drivers, and high power switching circuits. The last reason that makes N channel more popular is difference number five, cost and availability. Because N-channel MOSFETs are more widely used and produced in larger quantities, they tend to be more cost-effective and readily available compared to P-channel MOSFETs. These non-technical reasons makes N-channel MOSFET a more attractive option for manufacturers and designers. Anyway, we have reached the final moments of this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to join our community and stay updated with new videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next video, take care and have a good one. See you in the next video.